Back in 1923, my grandfather took a job over at Strict Solid Tire, and then which later became Strict Trailer and Manufacturing. He worked there along with his three sons, Alvin, Morty, and my father, Lewis. When I came out of the Army, I worked with my father. He did a lot of second mortgages, and he had a company called Eagle Commercial Trailers. And that's where I started renting and buying used trailers. And Eagle Commercial Trailers was the predecessor of Eagle Leasing. In 1967, our accountant, Max Stock, incorporated Eagle Leasing. When Lewis started, he didn't have an office, he didn't have a repair facility, so it was very, very difficult for him. I must have had about 50 to 100 storage trailers and I did the billing actually out of my bedroom. Lewis was the, he was sending out the bills, he was doing the collections, he was doing the repairs, he was doing it all. I mean even my mom got involved in mailing marketing material out in the beginning as Eagle Leasing was a fledgling little company that Lewis was running out of his house until we got this office in the early 70s. We had two or three drivers, we had some back office people, we had maybe six or seven people in a, in a shop that was maintaining the equipment. My grandfather, um, his perspective was you need to have the trailers and once you have the trailers you can go rent it out. My father's perspective was we need to build the shop so we can repair the trailers and take care of um, what it is that the customer is looking for. Through our advertising business started to pick up and we had drivers going in to Massachusetts delivering and then coming back home to Orange, Connecticut. We needed to have a facility in Massachusetts. We started the office in Orange. My Uncle Morty was working in Massachusetts. Both brothers were in Massachusetts. Brother Mort went to work for a company called Gindy Trailers. The funny part is he was almost in competition with my brother Alvin selling trick trailers. When Eagle Leasing stock was issued, Alvin was very much involved with Eagle Leasing and he did not come with the company at that stage in the game. The reason that we moved into Massachusetts, and this is where David came along those lines, is so that we could provide the same level of customer service and move into another marketplace that needed to be served. When I was uh, walking around campus one day, I stumbled upon one of our trailers. And I looked at that trailer and I saw a tiny little decal about the size of a, of a baseball that said Eagle Leasing and it was on the corner of the trailer. And I'm standing at this big trailer and I'm thinking to myself, man, those guys are missing the boat because those are billboards. And if I ever go to work for Eagle Leasing, that is the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get rid of that tiny little decal and go with a big decal. I reluctantly came to work for Eagle Leasing. I told my parents that I would give them a six month trial period. This was almost 40 years ago. I started the process of organizing the equipment, making sure that the decals were very big and visible, and making sure everything looked uniform. My dad was a salesman for a trailer manufacturer named strict trailers. As uh, companies would buy new equipment, they would take their old trailers like a car and they would trade in. The manufacturer would typically offer the trailer as an incentive to the salesman and say, listen, we can give you that trailer or you could try to sell the trailer on your own and that could be your commission. In many cases, my dad took them up on that. So he amassed 20, 30, 40 trailers and he was renting them off as storage units on the side. One thing led to another and he decided to pool his trailers in with Eagle leasing's trailers and we created a base of equipment in the Boston area where we never had before. We had a very small office in in Southborough where we rented space from a trucking company just to park trailers. We had a we had an office with two people in there with no windows. It certainly wasn't glamorous. Lewis and I went up to Southborough took a look at the property. It was the highest point on Route 9. It was four and a half acres and we loved it. I said to Mac, what do we got to lose? Let's buy it. That was the start of Eagle Leasing in Southboro. We built our facility in Southboro. David Eagle had a sign put up, which was magnificent because you could see it for miles on the turnpike. When David came out of college, he did a tremendous job with Eagle Leasing. He learned the business. When Mark graduated later on, he came with us full time. So we had an Eagle team and that was very important to the growth of the company. I got into the business in about 
almost 30 years ago. I was practicing law in a large firm in Boston and I was at a period in my life where I wanted to make a transition. David and I had a discussion and I figured, well, I'll jump on board as general counsel. I knew the business. I had worked here summers and in between college. I said, well, if it doesn't work out, I can always go back to being an, an attorney. And that was 27 years ago. The company started as a trailer leasing company. We had no containers. I was in the car with Lewis down in New Jersey when we bought our first containers at the shipping ports. We didn't know anything about it. So as we've grown, we started to really accelerate the purchasing of containers. It's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy where if you start buying them and you start renting them, people will start seeing them and then you start buying more because more people see them and more people. So it was overnight, we started to get calls from construction companies and say, you know what, I, don't, I know I always rent trailers for me for that job site, but let's try out containers. And now almost every construction site all have containers. No one has trailers. And then of course we've morphed into these office containers. Since then, which is another feature that we were able to add on based on the fact that we got feedback from our construction clients. Turnpike Road was only four and a half acres and we were limited into how many units we could park there. And because we were now more into Massachusetts, we had more trailers than we could park. So we had to go out and find another parking facility. And Mark Eagle came up with Oxford, which was an airport that was being decommissioned. And we were very fortunate. We were able to buy it. We used the old hangars. What was really good for us, it covers Rhode Island from that location. It was a real good fit because Southboro being out right outside of Framingham covers the northern section of Mass. It really uh, was a tremendous help. It gave us the opportunity to do more and more business. We deconditioned the airport. I had to like deal with the FAA and making sure that that was, you know, nobody was going to try and land a plane on this runway that we were ripping up. And I still, to this day, uh, look up in the sky and wonder if some, like, old timer is looking for this old airport where he wants to land. And we've done a tremendous amount with that property. We initially had knocked down one of the airplane hangars and, and co-opted what was existing repair shop, but added on even then. A large part of our business here is container processing, painting, metal fab modifications along with trailer work. You know, I came in and I said, you know, we have our containers. We need to look at acquiring a higher quality of containers so our customer remains happier. You focused on the quality, even if we're spending a little bit more for it to make sure that the customers are happy. We've evolved with our equipment and we've learned. Later on, you have the move towards technology. That happened and then my cousins came in who were the fourth generation and they're looking at everything a little bit more from a technology perspective. It's been great to see guys like Brandon and Mike join the company. They've brought a whole set of energy, freshness, perspective to the company and is helping position us for the future. Eagle Leasing has always sort of been my second family um, because I knew a lot of the employees who have been here a long time. I've known them throughout my whole life. They've seen me grow up so now it's it's pretty cool to be working with them. I worked in the shop here when I was in high school so that was a great introduction to the business. I got to meet a ton of people here and kind of dip my toe into it. As I graduated from college and I studied engineering and then I worked in New York and I kind of had my own career path and then when my brother joined here I just saw it as a, as a great opportunity to work with him, work with the family and kind of take what I learned from my own career and bring it to the business. The the strength of the company is 100% our culture. Everyone here talks about family and the, the family atmosphere we want to promote. I want people to feel motivated, to feel passionate, and I feel like a good culture helps ensure that. It's really a, a nice environment to work for, and the fact that the Eagles are here every day, the passion has not been diluted one bit. They treat everyone fairly. Doesn't matter who you are, you're all treated fair. You know, they come in the morning, say hi to everyone, just like your family. They say hi to me, and then they say hi to their kids. <laughs> you know, that makes me feel pretty good in the morning. It's not about any one employee that makes us successful. It's about, you know, everybody working together, coming up with ideas, changing the process, learning, and uh, responding to what the customer needs. It's like, we don't hire new people very often because people tend to stay here a very long time. I've been here at Eagle Leasing 
for 35 years. Back then, uh, we had probably 12 people working in the shop and we mainly worked on trailers. We had some containers, but not a whole lot. 31 years, I came and applied for the job as a mechanic. And six months after that, they needed a driver, so I filled in and I've been driving ever since. I'm been here for almost 26 years. Probably I'm, I'm good, that's why they give me, uh, I like the place. They help me doing the job because I'm learning a lot of, lot of things in here day by day. I started in 1995 in Orange, Connecticut, headquarters. Then I, a couple of years later, I moved to Mass, working in Southboro office. Then I, they bought this blocker here, then I started working here. December will be uh, 23 years. I didn't really think that it was going to be the job that I would stay so, you know, for so long, but it ended up being that kind of job. Perfect people to work for. Now being part of the management, uh, I always try to be fair to everyone. I always try to be playful with the guys. At the same time, show them respect so I can get that respect back. It's perfect. They treat me like a family. That's why I've been here for 16 years. They involved with the employers. The atmosphere is great. You know, they don't. Some truck driving jobs are they're really on top of the drivers, and there's a big turnover. And we have guys come in here and go, I can't believe drivers have been here for as long as they have, just because of the way they treat the employees. I've never been at a job that that lasted this long. The time goes by fast. It's like hitting five years, and then next thing you know, it's seven. I liked it right away. I was. Uh, very interested right off. I move all the trailers around, I take care of the yard, I pick the trailers for the customers. I like coming to work and then if you want to live a comfortable and happy life, you got to enjoy coming to work. I started here in 1999. I believe it was December, so long so a lot of stuff we do here, fix trailers, trucks, everything that go on they share with us. There's not many, many companies do, do that, you know. A little bit thing they make, they give everybody. The bonus they give it to us, that's the money we use to buy our kid clothes. So how many, how many companies can you find in Massachusetts? I've been here 23, 23 years. Here's our first year. We are repair the trailers and off trailers. Everything, if you ask you, the, the boss help us, he's never saying no for us. Eu go, é, gosto that, aqui que aqui é como uma família, né? His like, look like a, the company look like family. The family environment is really coming from the Eagles. We have several of them here, starting with Lewis Eagle, our president. Their love for the company and love for the employees makes all the world. Family business, it's more in tune, more in depth with their workers and stuff like that, rather than corporate. So I'm a salesman for Eagle Leasing. I used to work in the shop. Someone always told me that um, you'd be a great salesman. I heard that my whole life. So I brought it up to him. He said, sure, why not? <laughs> Them doing that for me is real big. It makes me feel like I'm relevant, like I'm important to the company. I love where I'm at right now too, but I love that they allowed me to move around. It's about the most relaxed atmosphere I've ever worked in in an office. I found this place by chance 13 years ago and I just love the environment. I, I love the diversity I have every day. Love the people I work with. Everything we do starts with compassion. During COVID when we had to, you know, shorten our staff down to half staff in each bay and half of us in the office, we never lost any of our wages. This was huge because a lot of people's spouses were losing income. That's one thing that I know that the Eagles are really proud of because I'm proud of it as an employee is that during the pandemic, nobody lost any wages. I have my history here. I lost my wife in January. She got COVID. My wife is in the hospital. Brandon, everybody, you know, send me a message. That's what I say. You need something, let, let me know, you know. And this work keep me away from the depression, you know, because I need to keep my mind focused. It's why I, I appreciate this work. It's not all about the work. It's it's extra, and it's, you know, it's amazing. I think a lot of that has to do with uh, just even Dave and Mark up front, where it's just like, if you have a problem, whatever, we're going to help you. A lot of places don't. 
But Lewis took a real interest in employee welfare. He always set the standard for that. He'd walk up to a guy, put his arm around him and say, tell me what's going on at home. Tell me what I could do for you. Sometimes bosses only care about the bottom line. They don't care about what the employees do after they punch out. To this day, he's still very concerned about employee welfare and making sure that the employees are taken care of. Even when the economy was in the tanks in the, in the 70s and 80s, when we went into deep recessions, Lewis would always say, nope, our employees are expecting us to have a Christmas party. I know we've had a tough year, but this is a big event. And he's right. It was, a, it was an important a rallying point for us to all get together and celebrate the hard work that we've done. Without the employees, we would not have Eagle Leasing what it is today. Now, you could say that without employees, you wouldn't have any company, but yet the devotion and the hard work and everything else that they see a company with a future that uh, they're not being sold out and become corporate America and all that, we really take pains to treat our people like family. Eagle Leasing for me, it's a family. Loyalty. Pride. Flexible. Busy. Are they good? Family. Family. It's amazing. Happiness. Family. My life. Rewarding. Fantastic. Family. Culture. Compassion. Flexibility. Inclusive. It's family. Family. Pizza. <laughs> Everything we do is, is top notch, but really, why are you choosing Eagle Leasing? It's because of the people. It's because you're going to pick up the phone, you're going to hear uh, myself, my dad, my brother, my uncle. As long as we have people here that are happy to come into work, are proud of the company they work for, and are thinking outside the box, and we give them the tools to grow, we're trying to water that plant. This is not a business that's just here for the moment. Right now, we're here for a long-term commitment to our customers. Everybody here is family to us. We don't know any other way. You're not just an employee. If you commit to us, we will commit to you tenfold. Every day we're ready to fight the world with a positive attitude and it's something to look forward to every day.